Spike's family returns with greatness and a brand new opening. Yo, yeah, what's good, it's boy did reviews and happy spoilers for Spike's Family episode 13, you've been warned. After three and a half months, we have the return of Spike's Family, the second half of season one. We got a brand new opening and a brand new ED. I must admit, the new opening does have some really nice, dazzling visuals. It's not as stylized as the first opening. It looks more like how the anime looks versus how the first opening was a lot more comic book-esque. There's just some really nice lighting and cinematography in this opening. And the colours just pop in this opening, particularly the scene of Anya swinging around that fairground ride. The ending song's more of a slice of life, just showing Anya and her family cooking. But you do see one or two characters that I don't really recognise and I don't think have been introduced into the show yet. As for the episode itself, just really funny to watch at times. There are a lot of comedic moments for such a dark themed episode. I really love the whole scene of Yori searching for Anya as she's jumping onto the ceiling and then she comes flying down and then you have this one random dude just watching the whole thing play out and he's just left absolutely stunned. The whole thing was hilarious to watch. And even when she comes to rescue Anya towards the end and she just absolutely decimates one of the dudes from this terrorist organization who want to use these dogs that were part of that organization's failed experiment to create high IQ dogs and other animals for military purposes and they want to use these dogs to take down some top leaders of the government. I wasn't too sure which government they wanted to take down but this one dude the leader of this terrorist organization really has an intense gripe with these top government dudes. The fact that he was willing to kill Anya just so that they could hide their secret and organization just really shows you how crazed this dude is and even one of his subordinates questions his thinking of trying to kill Anya. You just honestly wonder what this dude went through and why he decided to do the things he's doing. Of course we get more information from his friend earlier on in the episode where Twilight disguises himself as the leader dude to get some information out of his friend and we get a bit more information regarding these high IQ animals and how they were put on the black market instead of being put down and how one of the dogs that Anya comes in contact with is one of those failed experiments but it looks like he was more or less a success because he can see into the future and it sort of explains why this dog from a previous episode had images of Anya and her mom and dad. I'm just wondering now that Anya and this dog can sort of communicate to one another that with the dog's ability to see into the future can Anya get ahead of the game and probably get closer to being an imperial scholar? I don't really have too many negatives to say for this episode I mean it is a mid-season premiere but I will admit I was expecting this episode to be a bit more intense it was a little bit more laid back and a lot more comedic than I was expecting but it did have some interesting action scenes and cool new elements added to the story so I'm gonna give this episode a 7 out of 10 I'm gonna give it a B plus. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. But tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of this episode. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Like for more Spikes Family episode reviews, anime reactions, reviews, comparisons, breakdowns, rankings, and more. Thanks for watching. Boarded Reviews, Sunny out.